the fight scene, everything actually reminds me of the first Captain America movie. I think it's the first where everything was burning and inside like the base. It's it's just so good. The animation, the your fight, it was so good. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pants Hero, and um, it's been a while, long time to no see. I've been really busy. I got a second job, and now I just don't have time for anything. I literally just sleep and binge watching shows and movies on my days off, so sorry about that. I'll try to keep a consistent schedule. And welcome back to Cozy Review Corner. It's not too cozy because I don't know what happened to my stuffed animal. I have Silver Ash and Ippo here and my son, but I guess that's enough. The rest are like buried behind um lead seal here. The seal. Um only my probably only my gaming channel viewers know that the name is Lead Seal. But yeah, it's been a while. Um I know I said that I was gonna do Spike's Family Season 2 reveal, but I actually went to see the movie two days ago, so we're gonna do the movie first. And I'm trying to keep this short because the movie hasn't come out on streaming yet, so I don't have the footage. I'll probably try to use the footage from the trailer because I don't want it to be just me talking. But yeah, let's get going. Spike's Family Code White, it is the first movie for the Spike's Family series. It is non-canon, sadly. But it's super fun. I think it was about 1 hour 45 minutes, but the Wikipedia said it was 1 hour 50 minutes. Or 110 minutes. But yeah, it is made by Wit Studio and Cloverworks. Wit Studio is known for making AOT, Finland Saga, I haven't seen that yet, but I've heard it's good, and Suicide Squad Isika. While Cloverworks is known for making Fairy Tale, yes, The Promised Neverland, also good and shadow house love shadow house uh and also my dress up darling i haven't seen that yet though it looks cute i might watch it i don't know some of the characters that i listed are the forger family lloyd your anya i have them on my shelf i wish i could put some like figures in the back of me but i don't it's it's my bed i don't know i don't know what to put to have them stand you know maybe i'll figure out something in the future if i want to do that we have The Handler, which is Sylvia Sherwood, uh, Fiona, Yuri Breyer, Yours Brother, Frankie Franklin, The Incel for Twilight, and Colonel Snidal. We'll, we'll learn about him soon. Oh, spoiler for the whole movie, because I'll be discussing the plot and then I'll give it a rating. So we start out seeing that Operation Strict was going to be reassigned to a different agent, but Twilight doesn't want to give up the mission. While he was leaving the hidden base, I don't know what it's called, their operation base, he ran into Fiona and she was wearing a big hat. Her hat was blown away by the wind and he reached for it and from behind it looks like he was kissing her and Yor was on a break with her co-worker up on the roof and she saw all of this and it does kind of look like he was kissing someone. And her co-worker was discussing three telltale signs of a man or your husband cheating. The first sign is more overnight trips. The second sign is he start dressing differently to match the other woman. And the third sign is giving gifts out of nowhere because he feels guilty. Next we see that Anya is having a cooking class and Eden Academy will have a cooking competition. Hi editing Panzagro here. Not really editing because I'm at work but I just went to see Spike's Family Code White again with my sister. And I just want to say that I switch up the sequence. It was actually us learning about Anya's cooking competition first, and then we learn about Twilight's being reassigned to a different mission. I didn't mention that, but I remember that. I remember that the first time, but I didn't write down the script. He was reassigned from Operation Strict because there's another important top secret mission that he should take. So yeah, that's why he was supposed to be reassigned. The winner may receive a Stella. May. Okay, not, not a guarantee. The judge will be the principal. Lloyd, of course knowing everything because, well, he's Lloyd, <laughs> said that they should make the principal's favorite dessert, which is the mere mere. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but in the movie it's like the mere mere in Japanese. So it looks delicious though. I'll put up the picture. He wants Anya to get a Stella so that he can make a progress on Operation Strix and that he can keep the mission. They decided to travel to the town of Freges. I think that's how you said it. Freges? Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll say Freges. To try the principal's favorite Mary Mary, which is in that region. 
Yor got nervous because that count as an overnight trip. So she was like, oh no, he's gonna be going on an overnight trip. But he was like, we're we're all going as a family. It's a family trip. So like, Yor, why 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 are you so anxious? And like they're not even actually dating. Well, I really wish they are. If they're living together, like how long can you fake something? If you're gonna be doing everything that's like real you know i don't think it's fake anymore i don't know i don't know i've never tried to fake living with someone like that during the train trip anya went into the bathroom and she found a key that someone forgot and then she saw bond's vision that it leads to a treasure in the room full of luggages so she went searching for the treasure and found a chocolate it was like I don't know i don't remember what happened but she was stumbling around a bit and it was about to fall and she was like Ah, trying to catch it and it flew and then it landed in her mouth. So she ate it and she's like, mmm, yummy. So yeah, and the... I did not write anything down about the scene after that. Okay, I literally just skipped to the restaurant, but okay. Um, two guys who were supposed to retrieve the chocolate found that and now they're trying to catch Anya, but of course she's crying for mama and papa and Yor was worried. She was talking to Lloyd about the things she's anxious about that he might be cheating. But she could and so she ran away and she found Anya and the two guys. She beat them up and now they're nervous about the guys. Because yeah, like Yor think they're gonna kidnap Anya or something. And then they went to a restaurant called Rubbles and Bonds and this military dude, Colonel Snydel, came in and stole the last mirror mirror from Anya. He actually went into a competition with Lloyd to get it, but I won't get into that. I'll I'll just try to speak really. I don't want to tell you everything, you know. You should go watch the movie. It's so good. And then after that, Lloyd really wanted to taste the mirror mirror, so he asked them if they can make more tomorrow, but they said no. They ran out of ingredients. So Lloyd said he'll go find it for them. Oh yeah, side note, it was actually yours idea who came up with them going to find the ingredients and not Twilight. Twilight was the one who gathered the ingredients. I didn't remember that, but Yor saw that Anya was really sad about not being able to eat the mere mere. So she said, what if we get the ingredients for you guys? But Twilight was the one who still uh, gathered all the ingredients. So that's why I thought it was him, but it was yours idea. We got the fun ingredient montage. Lloyd got your lipstick because it's like a uh, travel gifts, you know? I don't know, the street vendors, they're trying to sell stuff for tourists and Lloyd's like, sure. And he was picking, he was actually picking the colors. That was so cute. Like, imagine that because I don't know, some people might just buy it because people were asking them to buy it. And he actually looked through a field down to find a cute color for your like, oh. um, she got nervous because that's just oh that's not the second um i missed one while they were in the restaurant he was adjusting his collar because he wore a turtleneck because it's a freaking cold town there's snow everywhere and yours like that's the second sign of him cheating he changed his outfit bro it's like a winter town i don't know and then yeah after he gave her the lipstick she's like that's the last sign of him cheating give her gifts okay anyway uh she got drunk because she really wanted to talk to him about the woman so she got drunk because she can't speak to him and Anya want them to clear up their misunderstanding so she puts both of her parents into a ferris wheel to make them talk and Lloyd ended up getting a swollen cheek anyway they go back to the hotel but Lloyd said that he still need to get good. one last ingredient it's like a sherry alcohol syrup with no alcohol it said on the label no alcohol but it's like some kind of sherry syrup but yeah, he couldn't find it anywhere. There's a montage of him finding it. It was crazy, but <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, so Anya is sad because it's supposed to be a family trip and he's leaving again. Anya's like, Papa, you said you're gonna be right back and he's not right back, okay? He's gonna be gone again. So yeah, she just ran away and locked herself in a room. Fiona show up suddenly as a hotel staff to inform Lloyd about the high priority mission that he's he needs to be taking. Oh yeah, Yuri. Yuri was gonna run to this town to just meet York because he doesn't trust that his sister won't get lost. I don't I don't know if that's ever show up anywhere before. I don't think so, but that was I guess they just want to try to show Yuri this for a bit. Um Anya saw Bond's vision and sneaks out to get the last ingredient. 
because she know where to get it. Anya got captured because the shop that she ate contained a microphone that can start a war between the East and the West. They cannot kill her yet since they need her to poop the microphone out. Lloyd decided to fly a plane after Anya. Laura let Yar let him go and think about it a bit. Then she was like, you know, they should go as a family. There was a moment where they talked about that while Anya locked herself in the room that Yor was like, you know, Yuri, when Yuri was young, he really liked to spend time with me, like whenever we get a chance as a family. And they were just talking about that, like, we should go find it in Peridian together, like that. But yeah, I, I didn't write that down. So yeah, she hop on the plane, not really. She just ran up the wall and grab onto the plane, like the bottom of the frame. And she just looks so cool. It's so cool. I'll put the footage of like the Black Widow movie. It reminds me of that. So the military aircraft tried to shoot him down and he crashed onto the roof of it. Lloyd and Yor is separated because Lloyd is up front and Yor is in the back of the plane. So she's still running on the roof. He got inside of the aircraft. And <laughs> Anya poop montage. It was so funny. It was so colorful and the animation style is interesting. It's like the animation style for the ending or the opening. I'll show the what I'm thinking of. But it was so colorful, it was like in pastel, it was so funny. There's a poop god, there's a toilet that's like holy. Oh my god, holy sh <laughs> Oh my god, it was so funny. Um, uh, She escaped, she escaped from the bad guys and found the toilet and was able to poop, finally. Because they were gonna cut her stomach open if she just refused to poop. Of course she can't, like she, she had to poop, but she was like, I don't want to die, so she's holding it in, but yeah, she escaped and she pooped. Lloyd and Yor got their stuff going on, I'm not gonna get into that, it was super cool. Lloyd was fighting the colonel and a bunch of other soldiers, and Yor fighting a new type of soldier. My friend said that it reminds him of um, Winter Soldier, because he got long hair and his arm is like metal, his whole body is metal actually. But the dark eye makeup and everything reminds me of Bucky, the Winter Soldier. And yeah, kinda. The fight scene, everything actually reminds me of the first Captain America movie. I think it's the first where everything was burning and inside like the base. It's it's just so good. The animation, the your fight, it was so good. So um Yor defeated the metal soldier with a lipstick that Lloyd gave her. I won't tell you how. It was so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it so much. Um the family reunites. Lloyd is able to keep operations strict. The kitchen equipment in Eden Academy blew up. So now the cooking competition is postponed and the judge will be the vice principal. Lloyd also knew what dessert he liked, and this time it's from the south. And he asked if the family wanted to go on another trip. I kind of skipped the end there, the end after like they defeat the soldier or what happened, but go watch the movie. It was so good. It was so good. I love it so much. Um, For rating, it has been 15 minutes. I'm doing good on time. The rating plot, I give it 10 out of 10 characters, 9 out of 10. I would like to see Yuri more. He's He's so cute. Okay, um, I read the Spikes family family portrait, the novel, and there is a moment of him and Anya. Oh, Frankie, he he was done so dirty by Twilight here. Um, there's an end scene. If you go watch the movie, don't leave afterwards. There's two ending songs for the credits. Both songs are pretty good. Uh, I'll actually look up the songs. But yeah, um, characters I give a nine out of ten since I don't see all of them that much. Oh yeah, and. Um, when when Twilight was told that he can keep Operation strict, I feel like the handler pulled some strings. Like she did something so that the other agent didn't get the mission. So that was cute. Too bad it's not canon though. It was so wholesome. And production, I said 11 out of 10. Production was so good. It was so good. I actually, and like the whole movie, it doesn't feel long to me like an hour and 45 minutes is quite long but it doesn't feel that long to me at all i actually want it to be longer i love spikes only it's like one of my top three right now so yeah um and 
I have to go to work in like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Pants Girl. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing. I make videos revealing shows and movie and manhwa and mangas. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!